Permanent, but what is Kamala Harris's energy plan, if she has any? Let's ask North Dakota Senator Kevin Kramer. He joins us. Senator, great to see you. Thanks for being here. First of all, let's talk about Donald Trump's promises. He made some energy promises last week. I, I believe it was when he was in North Carolina. I want to play that soundbite and get your reaction. Roll tape. My administration will issue rapid approvals for new energy infrastructure, unlock new lands for drilling, and achieve energy independence and energy dominance. And we will put Anwar back into service. You know, Anwar in, Atla- in Alaska. So we think your energy bills will be down by 50 to 70 percent. Whoa, 50 to 70 percent drop in energy price. Is that possible, Senator? The best way to make that possible is to produce more of it. And that's exactly the simple formula that Donald Trump understands and that Kamala Harris clearly does not. I mean, remember, Minnesota is my next door neighbor here in North Dakota. Tim Walz has banned some forms of energy from North Dakota into into uh, his estate, which, of course, means the lights will probably go out sometime when when the weather's below freezing in Minneapolis. But absolutely. The, the, and by the way, the sticky inflation problem Democrats have is because of the obvious sticky inflation of energy, which goes into everything. I, I would challenge anybody 14 years old and older, you know, pick your favorite product, go back to the very beginning of that That's product, right. to the consumption of that product and see how many times energy and all of its sources intersects with that. It's in the supply chain at the beginning, at the end and several times in right, between. Right. And of course, Fracking, the, the genius of, of, of fracking as a way of, of getting oil and gas is, is, is continues to, to produce for us, even though Kamala Harris said one point, maybe now she's against it. But be, before she said she was for killing all fracking. Do you know what her energy plan is? I haven't been able to find any. Well, it's incoherent for sure if she has one. But but David, remember, she was yeah, she was against fracking before she was right. for it. And she will clarify her opposition to fracking the minute she be, would would win this election. I assure you, clearly they need to run from the Biden record, as you've been talking about throughout the whole show. She'll embrace it when she's when it's done. So this is why this is why the, this is such a great race, because you have. Two people from two administrations, the, the, the Trump administration and the Harris-Biden administration, four years with each of them. What Donald Trump says he'll do, he has done. What she says she's going, she'll do, she hasn't. So, you know, it, it becomes pretty simple when you just ask a simple question. What was the price of gasoline when Donald Trump was president? What was inflation when he was president? What, what you know, how safe were we when he was president? How much energy did we produce when he was president versus what we do now. And energy dominance is the goal. And by the way, that also makes the whole world safer to have it, it the does. United States producing the cleanest energy in the world. Absolutely. We've seen that. And of course, there's there's a question of employment, too. Thousands, right. tens, hundreds of thousands of people depend on our energy, our producing energy for their jobs. Senator, great to see you. Thank you for being here. More Cudlow right after this.